for more than 30 years with compressed chalk. I draw dances, I work on movement and expression and emotions. And uh, for my way of drawing, I use uh, mainly compressed chalk. And in this movie, I want to show you the difference between normal charcoal and compressed charcoal and then I will go more in the information about compressed charcoal because have different brands have different way of working um, and I will show you my favorite brands uh, charcoal is fine or it is really or nitram um, charcoal is sticks who are burned wood under pressure um, without oxygen um, compressed chalk is um, charcoal and that is wood, burnt wood, um, but then with gum or wax and then it's compressed together so they weigh harder. It's not as easy to erase as normal charcoal and uh, it doesn't smudge so much. That's for me my main reason I don't use uh, normal charcoals. Uh, this is still the old version from 10 years ago. You see, it goes from you know, very nice from light, uh, from dark to light. Um, if you smudge it, it doesn't smudge too much, and the black is quite black. Um, nowadays, the minus point is um, it's too dry and it breaks too easy in your hand, and the black is not as black anymore. Contea uh, Paris. You still see the beautiful black from the lines. You can smudge it a little. Here I smudge it a little bit more. I did this with rubber. But um, the hatching can stay quite clean. You can see it goes nicely black. Have a nicer range. Uh, it can go very soft. And if you smudge it, it smudge a little bit more than uh, Comte à Paris. The black can be almost as black as that one. This is the one I quite like at the moment, just because they don't have the old version anymore. If you look to the drawing, you can see here is rubber, so you can go quite clean. Um, but this softer piece is with uh, kneading rubber. So that gets a nice tone of gray and a softness, but the lines will also stay. So you, and I quite like it that you also see your mistakes. But what is mainly nice from it that uh, smudging is uh, what a lot of charcoal do, but keeping your hatching clean, that is also possible. So here you see the hatching is the lines. I like that when it is clean, like Michelin Chelot or André de Sartre. Um, if it's only smudged, it becomes a lot of time too, too not alive, too dull. It's nice on places. It's nice when you can speak both languages. They already pack it in very thick plastic because um, they dry out very quickly. You see already it is way more grayer, drier, and you see um, it's much more than Donko Art or uh, Conte à Paris. Faber, it has a nice black. Um, you can go quite nice. Uh, the smudging is a little bit more than this too. But my biggest problem, it breaks so easy in the hand. It's a very cheap brand. Uh, till my surprise, it's quite black, but not as black as this one or the Donko Art. Um, it doesn't smudge too much, um, but I don't like the form, it's too thin. Here I all talked about compressed charcoal, and now I want just to show you a normal charcoal. Uh, it is just not as black. This one is way nicer black, that one is way nicer black, this one is way nicer black. Um, the normal charcoal you will see, you can erase the total, you smudge it all the, all the sides. So this charcoal is, uh, if you want to do hatching, it's almost mission impossible. The only one if I use white is Rembrandt. It's quite good, it doesn't smudge too much. I do school board white between because some people think you can use that i will explain later why not it's much a little bit more create a color i also don't like its flat sticks but okay they do it like that it's much a little bit more than this one cold sunrise 
quite white. It's much a little bit more than the Rembrandt. So the Rembrandt keeps the most clean. I want you to show with fixative what happened. You see, the Rembrandt is the only one who stay. Gold Sunrise stays a little bit. Greater color is totally gone.